what am I going to say? How do I be me? These are the questions that I ask myself when I'm about to play myself on camera. This is a bit of behind the scenes fun facts for you. I am this hectic in real life, but then when I'm doing a vlog, like this will all be in black and white, right? But when I'm doing a vlog, I just turn my volume, my personality up from 10 out of 10 to like 12 out of 10. How are we doing, Andrew? We good? Yeah. All right, here we go. Get into Network's Dolce. Welcome to today's episode of the vlog. We are back at Crown, Crown Towers in Perth, or the Crown Casino in Perth. Look, the, uh, the casino over there in the background. Definitely not gonna have a gamble today. Did too much of that in Vegas. Uh, but basically, I'm here speaking at the Australian Hotels Association Conference for Western Australia. I'm super excited. Basically, gonna be doing my thing, getting up on stage, having a spiel about digital marketing, social media marketing, talking about content creation, and it should be a lot of fun. It should be a lot of fun. I've also got a bunch of new slides in today's deck, which I'm really excited about. Some really cool case studies from the hospitality tourism industry specifically, which are gonna be super, super lit. And um, I promised myself I was gonna dab today, but I've just done it. I've already broken my own promise. Apart from that, let's, uh, let's get into it. Yay, we got working, yay, thank you. I like thank you being open, that's, that's awesome. Can everyone hear me? Winner. Can everyone hear me? Yeah. Woo! Quick question, what does this guy have in common with your business? Anyone know who this guy is? What, what, kind, of, what kind of sugary treat does old mate up here really enjoy? Cookies. cookies, yes, cookies. And what do cookies in your business have in common? So, what was that? You sell, oh, you do sell, okay, that's not what I was going for, but are they delicious? No, they're not. <laughs> no, I don't know. <like> them. <laughs> so cookies in your business. All right, so who knows what cookies are in relation to digital marketing? Who has been to, who likes shoes here? What's your name? I'm just going to everyone's like, no, don't want to pick on me, don't pick on me. What's your name, bro? Uh, Tim. Tim. Tim, you like shoes. Do you ever go and search for shoes online and then like, you go on YOLO over back on a Facebook or Instagram, and then bang, those shoes that you were looking at that you haven't purchased are in your feed, right? That's retargeting, right? And retargeting works by using cookies. Every time you go onto a website, a mobile website, someone's Instagram account, Facebook account, Snapchat account, like whatever, you are having cookies being pixeled onto your phone, onto your laptop, onto your web device, whatever. Now, what the cooking does, it allows people like me to retarget you, so like in the same way that Tim has been retargeted for shoes, allows us to retarget our customers with incentive-based retargeting, right? So with the example of shoes with Tim, let's say he's looking at like a really, really sick pair of, um, this, I'll just use Nike as an example, sick pair of like Nike kicks, right? And let's say that they are 200 bucks and it's $20 shipping because coming from overseas. Now Tim, because let's say I'm doing the marketing for the shoe business, I know that Tim has now spent, this is playing, play this example, I know that Tim, let's assume that he's spent 15 minutes, 20 minutes looking at these shoes and he's added these shoes, these specific pair of shoes to his cart. Now, to me as a marketer, that tells me that he's in the consideration stage of his purchase, right? He's like, I really want these shoes, but I don't know, there's something stopping me. Maybe I don't have the money, maybe I don't get paid until Wednesday, like whatever. There's something stopping me, so, or stopping Tim from purchasing those shoes. So, it's our job as marketers, specifically on social and digital, to do something to push Tim along his purchase or path of purchase. And one way you can do that, which worked really well for the, the shoes, especially if, let's say the price is the issue, or let's say that the specific issue is that he doesn't like the fact that it's gonna cost him $20 shipping. So if I retarget Tim because I put cookies on his browser and within 24 hours of him adding those shoes to his cart, I do an incentivized retargeting campaign or a retargeting ad, which is basically like, hey, saw you left these in your, ca in your cart, we're offering free shipping for the next 24 hours. The conversion rate of those ads, and this is all done on autopilot, the conversion rate of those ads now goes skyrockets, right? The media cost and the return investment, the media cost is super low and the return investment is super high because you're only targeting the most engaged audience, which you know have got the most amount of consideration for actually making that purchase. Final one, and these are, these are great. Um, a few, see a few young kids in the room. Who has been to Amplify Capital before? Hands up. Sweet. All right, cool. So this, this next piece of content I'm gonna show you, it is, uh, it's very, it's, it is the perfect example of niching down and personifying your business, right? Niching down and understanding what your target market in your business actually enjoys. If you don't have been to Amplify Capital 4, you may not understand, but let's just have a look. It wasn't done in the wrong way. So 
you've been to Amplify Capital before, pretty much guaranteed the killers, Mr. Brightside, will be played most nights here at Amplify Capital. And most nights at Amplify Capital, you will basically see people in the smoking area, they, your dance floor will be pretty empty, and then bang, the song comes on, everyone's like, BRB, runs the dance floor. So what Amplify Capital have done, and this is pretty much my favorite piece of content that I've seen this year on social, on Facebook, they took a meme, right? and they DJ'd the memes. That meme was already going around, and they DJ'd it, but they understand that the personification of their business through their content, through their social channels, is what matters to them, right? And that's what's gonna work in terms of the best pieces of content that they can create for their audience. So, this post, right? 283,244 people reached, 3,500 reactions, 3,400 comments, and 542 shares an amazing killer piece of content. They didn't spend much time making it. They didn't have to think of the original idea. They just DJ'd it, created the content for their own business. And the final piece of uh, content that I will share with you, and this one also by Amplify Capital, this was, uh, this was from last year, probably one of the best pieces of content they've ever done. This content went so viral that it was trending in America and in the UK and a bunch of other places across the world. Nothing overly complicated, what's going on, right? They're personifying their business. What are they actually selling? And by capital are selling good times Friday, Saturday night, if not more when they're open. Music as well, and other kind of fun stuff. But at the core of their business model, they're selling a good time. And they understand their target market, and they understand how their target market thinks, and they understand how, what kind of content they can create to create viral exposure amongst their target market. Because what they're doing essentially is, is they're taking the offline, the real experience of like having a few drinks and having a good time, and they're taking that and they're applying it to their content so that in the weeks leading up to, or the days leading up to you know, Saturday nights, they'd run this and it just, it just exploded and it went globally viral. Like 800,000 people reached. What's interesting about this is, see the light orange compared to the dark orange? That light orange represents organic reach. And then they put a bit of paid advertising on top. 4,100 reactions, almost 8,000 comments, 1,400 shares. Because they understood how to personify their business and how to personify a good time, right? and they understood what their target market and what their target audience, who they are and what they're into and what they're gonna to react to in the best way. Thank you very much. Alrighty, just wrapped my talk at the Australian Hotels Association Conference for Western Australia here at the beautiful Crown Towers in Perth. It was a great time. We had, I, had a, I had a really great time. I always get really nervy before I go on and then I hit a nice little cadence and then it's just, it's just lots of fun. Anyway, that's basically it. This is a wrap. My name is Paul Ramondo. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notifications on so you get notified when I drop new videos. I usually drop them every week, but recently in biz dev mode. So a lot more hustle, a lot more grind means less videos and less content, but at least once a month. So let's give the explosion. I'll see you next time. Peace. Oh. Everybody listen to me speak.